Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rakia. I am a fitness trainer, business owner. Um, if you don't know me, I lost 100 pounds naturally, so I help other women to grow and evolve. So today, <laughs> yeah, today I have a pop-up shop event. Oh, I'm very poor. <clears throat> today I have a pop-up shop event that I have to do in downtown Dallas. So it is currently 9.30. I am up. I am going to pack all of my things. Here are all the stuff that I have to pack, put in my car, and then we're gonna head downtown. All right, y'all, I have everything packed up in the car. I already have my tent and um, tables packed up back there. I got my bins back there, so we got to get on the road. back okay sis had to leave the pop-up shop early y'all it was literally over 100 degrees sis was sweating sis couldn't breathe sis was dehydrated just sitting there and i just could not bear it anymore matter of fact sis was the first one to pack up i gotta go okay? i'm not about to be getting crispy out here all right time to go but i'm back I want to tell you guys how to get started with your pop-up shop now. Just a backstory with my pop-up shop. I got invited as a vendor. This was my first pop-up shop. And it was two weeks away. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have nothing. Okay, I have nothing ready. So I started panicking. And I'm like, half the time, you know when you design banners and stuff, sometimes that takes two weeks. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> to risk like my stuff not getting here. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to get started with your pop-up shop, how I got started, and yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is your design. So designing the color theme. What's the theme for your pop-up shop? Mine was pink, okay? So I started out with a product that um, I was selling, so leggings, they were kind of this pink, I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like, but I started out, I did like a fun photo shoot, just playing around, right? And I was like, oh, this like really looks nice and maybe this should be the center of like how I design my website, right? So I did a photo shoot by myself and I'm like, this could really be a thing. So I'm like, pink is really like a cute color. Pink is popping, why not choose pink? So this was a theme for my website and I used Canva, right? I used Canva to design the whole set of my pop-up shop. What do I mean? So Canva has this tool where you can just, well, any really video editor or any type of platform really has where it just pulls out the colors, right? Pulls out the colors from a particular picture. So I use Canva to pull out those other colors in the picture and that's how I pretty much designed everything else. I actually designed it my poster. So the poster that you guys see in the picture, the video, this poster right here. This poster right here, I designed in Canva. Um, with the poster, I just put in the correct inches that I wanted to use. I think this is a 20 by 30 inch poster and I uploaded it to Walmart, right? And Walmart has same day pickup. So I literally picked up my banner the same day that I uploaded it. So I designed it in Canva, picked it up from Walmart later. You can choose whatever platform you like, whether it's Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, but Walmart was just more convenient because I didn't have time to wait, okay? And also to hold the poster, right? I found an eel, easel. I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce it, y'all. This is that's artsy stuff. I don't I don't know. But I found it on Amazon. I think it was less than $20. I found the eel, the easel on Amazon. So 
that is what basically holds the poster together but it really doesn't hold it y'all because i live in texas and the wind will literally blow your whole tent away so i recommend getting some thumb sticky sticky thumb stuff or tape that's how i kind of take my tape the poster to the eel and then around the tent pole if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense i'll show a picture so you guys can see what i'm talking about I also designed my table banner or table runner as you guys I think it's called table runner so I designed that in Canva as well if you guys are wondering what a table runner is it is that center banner that you guys see in the middle of the table pulled puts pictures together and I'm like oh this is a cute little ring like this is cute this is cute this is cute and I found a seller on Amazon that could give me a quick 48 hour turnaround and baby they delivered okay and I fell in love with my table runner. Like it was perfect. It was exactly the design that I wanted. The quality was great. And I was just so, I was just so happy. And also I used pink fitted um, table, what do you call it? Tablecloths, tablecloths? Is that what you call it? Anyway, I used a fitted one. Um, I found the perfect color. I think the fitted look is just more sophisticated and it was perfectly in my color theme so I found that on Amazon as well you guys there are gazillion sellers out there find the color that works for you and your theme pink tint that you guys see I got from Academy Sports it was a hundred dollars I was like ugh, but I mean it was worth it it went with the theme and with the design and I needed something that I could pick up right then I did not trust Amazon even though Amazon is trustful I wanted it in my hands okay mind you guys remember I had a two week turnaround to me that's not a lot of time to you it may seem like a lot of time but for somebody who's never done a pop-up shop and don't know how to do a pop-up shop I needed it in my hands so yes I got the pink tint from Academy. <laughs> I also designed my tabletop so the signs, the acrylic holders that you guys see where I put my cash app or something about a product or to tell more about a product. I got the acrylic sign holders from Amazon as well. They are great but I designed the paper in Canva and then I printed it out at Walmart or Staples or Office Depot. I can't remember, but I printed out several pictures, designs, just so that I can have that on my table. So um, it'll give more details about the product. So I had the sizing chart, um, the pricing list. That's so important too, right? Because people want to know how much this stuff costs. Like you have the stuff on the table, but how much this stuff costs? And I like to be right up front with people. Like this is how much it costs. Okay, this is what you get yourself into. You either want it or you don't, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good selling point, but I mean, that's just how I am. I'm just very authentic and upfront with it. Like this is what it is, this is what you're gonna get. It's either gonna work or it's not. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into the equipment that you're gonna need for your pop-up shop. First, let's get into the tables. I use two six-foot tables. I got from Walmart, they're probably 42 to $45, something like that. You're gonna have to get whatever you need. I know I have a lot of products, so one table was just not gonna suffice for me. I knew I needed two tables. I also ordered two tablecloths for both tables as well, because I knew I needed two tables so two six foot tables i also brought my own chair okay you're gonna need a chair because how, you ain't finna be standing up the whole time you just gonna stand up the whole time all right you gotta sit down you gonna pass out so i make sure i grab a chair if you are selling clothes you may think about wanting a clothing rack now my first pop-up shop i did have a clothing rack but y'all it was too much of a hassle trying to put that thing together and break it down i don't have time for that i'm just like listen i'm gonna lay this out on the table and it just be that okay so if you want a clothing rack if you have a lot of product then yes get your clothing rack honey but i'm just i'm not doing no clothing rack no more that's just that um you also gonna need bins how are you gonna store your product okay you need something that's super accessible to take from your car from your vehicle to put down and to store back okay when you get back home or wherever you store your product so bins are so important i always bring my bins with me because that's where i store my products yeah also you gotta think about okay well how are you gonna sell your product right you're gonna need an ipad or 
an iPhone. Now, I don't, if you have another iPhone, great. I use an iPad, okay, because I need both my, I need my iPhone for my personal use and iPad is for my business. So I use an iPad and I just have it sitting on a stand for when somebody's ready to purchase. I just lock into my platform and that's how I sell my product. Now let's talk about a platform. What platform should you use to sell your product? Okay, I use Shopify POS. That is how I run my store. My website is powered by Shopify. Shopify has POS and that is so much easier for me to be able to track my inventory every time somebody purchases a product. I can easily just track my inventory. I don't have to worry about that. I can just go about my business. Um, Square is also a great platform. You can buy a Square card reader so people can just swipe their card. That's an option as well. But you guys do what you think is best for you. There are other payment methods, okay? You have Cash App, you have Venmo, PayPal. I would just recommend that you have the little barcode that people can just take a picture of and not take a picture, but they can just, you know, pull out their phone, pull out their camera and scan it that way so they can just easily pay you. So I think that is important to have on your tabletop too and in a acrylic sign holder so people can easily just cash app you or Venmo, however you want to do it. So just be kind of versatile with your payment methods. I have done cash before, but I just recommend that people have their exact cash because I don't like dealing with cash. Um, I've had older people come by my shop and like they don't trust card at all because older people get scammed a lot and I totally understand. So if they want to purchase the product with cash, I'm perfectly fine with that. So cash is another method. I'm just not good with counting money. That's just not my thing. All right. I just swipe and go, swipe and go. But you guys do what works for you, for your pop-up shop. For your business also another important aspect of equipment I, I wouldn't put this in the equipment category but this is something that you definitely need um you need bags okay so i use these pink bags that i found on amazon to store the product gift bags whatever you want to call them thank you cards i designed in canva as well i printed it out using avery um my rat cards which are great because it tells more about your story i printed i designed it in canva as well and printed it out using avery those are a great thing to have and of course your business cards you need acrylic sign holders for your business cards as well so and also acrylic sign holders for your rat cards too so be able to store so you won't have things all over the place right also let's talk about the uniform so hey i mean whatever your business is is what your business is my business is fitness personal training nutrition coaching all of those things and i wanted my uniform to be pink like why not so i used a t-shirt that had my royal yas logo on it I, wore, I wanted to wear a pink blazer i wore jeans and some tennis shoes and i also wore a ceo badge that was pink okay and i found a seller on amazon who designed so all you do is put in whatever you want to put in and pay for it and they ship it to you and that's literally it like it's y'all pop-up shops are great it's so great for business do it do it don't be scared i was super nervous my first time and now it's just become super simple and easy to me mind you i do it by myself nobody comes with me so i have to literally bring everything downstairs bring everything upstairs pack unload put the tent up put the tent down like it's a lot but it is so worth it to get your business name out there and so people can know more about you and what you do okay so if you want to see more content like this please like this video leave a comment down below okay and subscribe to my channel because i'm so sweet i'm a sweetheart and i just gave y'all some gems right <laughs> be blessed y'all bye